Hey y'all, y'all come on in the kitchen today. Welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm just gonna be doing some Cornish hens and some, let's see, asparagus. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish cleaning this one. I got three in all. And um, of course I've already washed my hands and I'm gonna poke a little hole in here, just make a little hole. Make a little hole. Pull it at. Cut this off. I got a real sharp knife over here. I'm sorry about this video. I see my the shadow is kind of messing it up a little bit but i'm gonna do the best i can so what i'm gonna do now i took this out the pack and i'm going to whew, have this sitting out too long i'm gonna cut this off you don't have to cut nothing off of here i'm cutting it off because it got a little dark because i had it sitting out today um it's still cold but if you haven't sitting out too long they get dark fast so right now what I'm gonna do is turn the little butt upside down. Look at that little bitty baby chicken. That, that little baby chicken, y'all. Look at that. I'm gonna turn the little butt upside down. Like that. And cut that little butt piece off right there. Then I'm gonna get all that fat around it. On each side. That side and on this side. The little fat piece right there. See it right here. I'm gonna cut that off. And on the top, there's a lot of skin and fat right around the neck, shoulders and the neck, all this right here. I'm cutting all this off. I stomach growling. Go ahead and get all this. Some people can't clean chicken. Because if they clean it, they can't eat it. They say, I, I don't know. Don't bother me. So what I'm going to do now is take my knife. And I'm just going to split this chicken, this baby, right down the middle. Right here. Where we're going to split it at. Right down here. Woo, see that right there? We're going to split it right down there. And cut them wide open. I cut my hand. See how we got them? Wide open. And then I'm going to take all these little goods out the middle. This little piece down in the bottom right here. I'm going to dig up under there. Get all that out. That out. This is my little trash bag over there. Got some more in here. On this side. Now, if you can't stand to see this, just fast forward the video. <laughs> Cause, honey, you gotta clean that chicken. You gotta clean that chicken. You gotta clean that chicken. I don't try to get all the fat off. Like, all up here, yeah, it's okay. We ain't gotta try to get all the fat off. The fat also gonna give it a little juice, hold that juice in. So, we just wanna clean them goods out of the inside. And we're gonna rinse them off real good. Then we're gonna season them, put them in the oven. Wait till they get done. Rinse them off. And then that little part right there where we got that on them guts out, we gotta rinse it out good. Gotta rinse that out real good. Rest my sink out. Now 
Now I'm gonna season it and put it in my pan, which it shouldn't take too much to season these little bitty birds. I got two right here. I gotta put these back in the sink so I can season all of them. I've already did these. I've already cleaned them. I already took the guts out of them. So I'm gonna stick them back in here. Rinse them back off right quick. They already been cleaned. show y'all what I'm gonna do. Get my pan. I'm gonna place each one of them in my pan open like this. Well I could uh you could do it open or or down up or down up or down it don't matter. I got my split like this. And let's see if y'all can see that y'all see that yeah y'all can see that y'all can see that bird okay first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little poultry seasoning on there Just gonna sprinkle. You can put some in your hand and do, don't put too much of this. This is real strong. It just just lightly sprinkle, lightly. I know what I'm doing. That's why I'm sprinkling out the jar here. But other than that, you would just put some in your hand and then just throw it on there. Ooh, see that might be too much. Be all right because it's gonna make its own juice. Then I'm gonna put a little mustache, just original. I'm gonna put a little minced onion. That's a chicken bouillon. Y'all already know I use this for everything. Just about. Chicken bouillon. Just about everything. Let me get a spoon. I'm going to spoon this out. I ain't going to do it with my hand. Now this will make your food salty. So be careful with this. I'll say... uh. Uh, half a teaspoon on each side, maybe. And then, you know, just rub it in like that. Then we're going to flip it over on the other side, do the same thing. Y'all believe it or not, you really don't have to do too much to this little bird. It's already tender. You just got to season it. Chicken bouillon. the side of what I want to get the sides to. And then make sure you rub rub it in your chicken so you, all of your chicken got some on it. You don't want some of your chicken to be seasoned and, and then other parts that uh, taste like nothing. Ooh, and nothing like some fresh tasting chicken. You talking about make you want to throw up that chicken fresh? Ooh, that's not good. They're not good. It look like I put a whole teaspoon, y'all. Cause I had to go back and do that. That didn't look right. That didn't look right. So yeah. Ooh, that burned in my hand. Cut my finger and this stuff getting in it. Okay. Yeah, I like to make sure. Okay, that's enough. Minced onions on this side, and we don't need that much. You, if you don't want to use minced onions, you can just cut you some onions, or you ain't got to do no onions. Y'all already know the drill. A little Miss Dash. I forgot to put the poultry season on here, but it's okay. We can put it on here last. It ain't no certain order. And then a little poultry season. You know, y'all can use these like if you want to make dressing. These, oh, these little chickens make the best kind of uh, broth, chicken broth. Oh, my goodness. Yes, they do. 
and then this it only thing we're gonna do is put it on the oven my oven already heated to 350 degrees i'm gonna wrap it up in some aluminum foil put it in the oven i would say about a four to five minutes to an hour because it may not take a whole hour for these little birds but at least four to five minutes and your chicken will be done okay so i'll be back when it's done okay let's get the chicken out she'll be done As a matter of fact it's been oh it's smoky must be a hole in this pan oh my goodness gotta clean the oven out this is what the chicken look like it is done but what i do is i go ahead oh but what i do that for touch the pan i know it just came out you can just go ahead if you want to just cut it in half be careful because it's aluminum pan so you don't want to put a hole in it oh my goodness you could just cut it in half like that and you can serve them like this so if you like them brown only thing you got to do is flip them over let me show you my goodness i don't want to act right you flip them on on the other on the Flip them over on the other side, and you stick them back in the oven. Put that oven on 400, and you just want to brown the top of it, that's all. But me, I don't care about it being brown, it's done. And it's tender, and it's juicy. That's what I want, juicy. Juicy. Yeah, when you put it in the oven on 400, don't put the foil back on it. Do not put the foil on it because you just want to brown it. But other than that, y'all, we done. Whatever you're going to cook with it, go ahead and get your dinner going. I was going to cook some asparagus with it. I think that's what I said earlier, but I'm not. I'm just going to give me a salad. Just baked chicken and a salad. Y'all, that's my grandbaby in the background. Y'all hear me playing with his truck, minding his business. So, look. Don't, don't, don't come. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. Tell me what's all that noise in the background, my baby? So, leave him alone. But this chicken is done. Done, done. Done, 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 done. Now let's taste it. Extra. Who asked the child? Let's taste it. Oh my goodness, that's just right. It ain't salty. And you can tell if it was salty because all you got to do, you see this little juice. Do we, you see when we put it in the oven, we didn't put no juice in the pan. The only thing we did was season it and put it in the pan. And it's going to make its own juice. If you want to take this juice and make some gravy, you can. Um, you don't have to. I'm not going to make no gravy. I'm just going to eat some baked chicken and salad. Cairo. And um, what else I was going to say, y'all? I'm sorry. Yeah, he got me throwed off a little bit, y'all. So that's going to be it, y'all. That's it. That's the um, Cornish hen, baked Cornish hen. And um, I guess I'm gonna have to see y'all on another video. This is the end of this one. I hope you guys making it turn out okay. I hope you like it. Um, and until then, I'll see y'all next time. Peace, love, and bless to you all. If this is your first time um, on this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up. And share the video with your family and friends, okay? All right, you guys. Y'all stay safe, and we'll holler at y'all later. Bye.